Hello YouTube, Robert Alvarez the Psychic Witch, also known as Mr. Lighting in a Fan. Good evening! So, it is my pleasure to continue this more than a walkthrough series of videos starring the Pride Tarot, a collaborative deck, which was published in April 2020, which proved that some good things did happen in 2020. And I'm going to keep saying that, so in case you're wondering, I'm going to keep saying that. But for now, before I show you the front of the card, let me have Drake do a close-up of the back of the card design, which why? Because I love this back of the card design. Mm -hmm. The only thing I do not like about it is that I cannot tell if the card is upright or reversed before I turn it over. But other than that, I love the card's design. And I'm going to have Drake do a close-up of the front. It is the Five of Cups, illustrated by Stephen Bright. And I am going to um, hold the card while I re... Oh, I lost the page. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to keep the card held up. And I'm going to read what Mr. Bright wrote about the card. A beautiful figure appears to be drowning in a sea of his own tears. Nearby cups once full both bob around on the surface, soon to sink into the watery depths. The Five of Cups is a card of loss, of grief, most often, most often centering around failed relationships and emotional grief. When this card appears, we can become consumed by things that have not worked out, unable to see a way forward. The anchor tattoo represents those emotions that will only drag him further down. And it's almost like you don't even see that it's right here in the vicinity of the right side of the collarbone. There is also a positive perspective to the Five of Cups. If this young man were only to turn his head, he'd notice the two upright cups behind him the flowers above, and a faint rainbow lighting the ocean. The two cups represent friendship and the community of kindred spirits who wish to help when others have turned their backs. This illustration is based on my friend, Jonathan Hamlet, co-founder of Drag Queen Story Hour. I'm going to have Drake do another close-up because even when I looked at the card, you really can't see clearly the rainbow. It's almost like a hint. Can you see it in the close-up, Drake? Yeah, I'm going to point it out. Um, yeah, so it's right in the vicinity of Jonathan Hamlet's hair. So it's that yellow-orange, and it looks beautiful, but it's, it's very subtle. The, the rainbow is a very subtle rainbow. Now, let me talk to you about Mr. Stephen Bright. Yes. Stephen Bright. The sub, in his own words, the subject of my portraits is my friend, Jonathan Hamlet, the co-founder of Drag Queen Story Hour. The project, which started out with drag queens reading stories to children in libraries in the United States, has developed to include literacy teaching and creative programming and is now globally recognized and praised. Well, by most people, not by all people, but that's another topic for another video for another day. One that I will discuss, I promise you. Based in the UK, Stephen Bright is the creator of The Spirit Within Tarot and the author of Tarot, Your Personal Guide. He is a full-time tarot reader and co-founder and editor of The Esotorical, a magazine dedicated to all things divination. Would you believe I still do not have a subscription to The Esotorical? And Stephen Bright is one of two people who I admire very much who have appeared in this magazine. The other one is the Lisa Young Sutton, whose Lenormand 
YouTube channel, Lisa Loves Lenormand, is one of my personal favorites. It lists his website and an Instagram account, but if there's any other social media or any other websites for Stephen Bright, I will include it in the description box below. As always, I am so incredibly thankful to U.S. Game Systems Incorporated for publishing a tarot deck that honors and celebrates the contributions of the LGBTQIA plus community, a community of which I form part. And I also want to thank Stephen Bright for illustrating the Five of Cups. And there is another card he's illustrated, but we haven't gotten there yet. So stay tuned for that. And of course, I want to thank all of the other artists and illustrators and people who contributed to this amazing and beautiful project. And of course, to all of you in YouTube land, thank you so much for honoring who I am and what I do, and for honoring Drake, more commonly known as my awesome audiovisual person, for my YouTube videos. I especially want to thank um, all of you for the likes, the comments, the shares, and the subscriptions, and an extra big and beautiful and bountiful thank you to everyone who had a session with me at the most recent Moon, Serpent, and Bone 5th Annual Samhain Festival, and to everybody else who's already scheduled your sessions. I wish all of you a beautiful night, a wonderful week, and stay tuned for the next video.